Yeah! Oh, oh, fuck fucking get in! Oh. Fucking hell, mate. And. Breathe. Breathe. Never in doubt. Ah, oh, final whistle. Yeah, never in doubt. Yeah, <laughs> never in doubt. Completely fine. Easy that. Yeah. Easy that. This is the final whistle after Liverpool. The final what? The final whistle. <laughs> whistle. Ah. Oh. After Liverpool beat Aston Villa, they come from behind. They're not the first to do it, and they won't be the last. Um, two one this time around for Aston uh, for Liverpool against Aston Villa. Uh, goals from Joel Matip. Yeah, seems like a long time ago now. Yeah, uh, and Sadio Mane uh, give Liverpool the three points, put the pressure back on to Manchester City. They go level on points at Manchester City. Eighty six points for both teams now. Manchester City, of course, playing Wolves is it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. um, Ross. It was a fucking terrible start to the game after three minutes were a goal down, but Liverpool ultimately did really well to get back into it. Yeah, and this is the test of this Liverpool side of, you know, we used the phrase mentality monsters before, and, you know, and there's a load of cliches that you can throw out of, you can score too early, but it's all about Liverpool's initial reaction. Heads can go down, there's a lot riding on the game, you're under immense pressure, tough crowd, tough team. Gerard has the players well drilled them and bang up for this game, but to score immediately... I think just shows the quality of, of this Liverpool side. And then I think pretty much when it, when it starts to calm down around 20 minutes, half an hour, it was still erratic at times, but Liverpool just felt more in control. And, it, you know, similar to Spurs, probably. There was just moments where it was hard lines. It was, you know, a bit of poor passing. Or, you know, the bounce didn't fall for Liverpool. Villa were, you know, were, were throwing bodies forward, causing us, causing us issues. Doesn't help that the first goal was fucking offside for, for a start. But you can't moan about that during the middle of the well, we, we can, but the players can't moan about during the middle of the game because they've got a job to do. And no, they, but and they, and it, it could it. quite easily get to them. It's what you are saying before. Yeah. Like, when you see a decision go against you, when everything's on the line like that is, you know, you need the three points to get yourself in with a chance of go, doing a quadruple. Never mind the quadruple. With trying to win the league, that's enough stress and uh, to, to be under. To then see a decision go catastrophically wrong when everyone in that back line and your goalkeeper knew it was fucking offside, to then have to come back and to be and to have the balls and the fucking wherewithal and the skill to be able to get yourself back into that game when you're not playing your best. Yeah. Liverpool weren't at their best today and yet their sheer will got them over the line there. Yeah. And, to, and to your point before, actually, it was, was quite interesting going into Saturday, which I know we don't want to talk about now, but going into Saturday on the back of a win. I didn't particularly want to go into Saturday and go in, well, the league's done. But having said that, when we played Barcelona and we thought we were at the Champions League and that was the day before was when company scores that screamer against Leicester and the, the league is done. So it, it can work both ways. But for morale, for motivation, for, you know, for confidence and to apply pressure to Manchester City, you've got a tough game against Wolves because they do the same thing as we do the players will do it the manager will, well, the manager will do it because we're in his head anyway the fans will do it are going well Aston Villa have just scored two minutes up and then five, two minutes later it's 1-1 and, we, and we've won the game yeah and do you know I just want to say like we've had loads of people in the comments and stuff and um, for the most part it's always superb doing these watch longs one thing I really don't like and I'll, I'll, I'll speak one to one with you if you don't mind is Look, if you think the league is done and you're a Liverpool fan, I can't help you, right? Because I don't think the league's done. What I will ask is not to fucking say it. Like, what what, what do you think you're getting from it? You're, you're just pissing other Liverpool fans off who do think that they've got a chance. If, I, if Jürgen Klopp and this side haven't taught you that you never give up and that you can be proud of them no matter what and that... You are, if he hasn't turned you from a doubter to a believer yet, he's never going to. But that doesn't mean you need to tell other people that. I believe that Liverpool can still win this league. I believe that Liverpool can still win a quadruple. I will be disappointed if we don't win the league, but I will never not be proud of this Liverpool side and what they've put together each and every week for us, every single time they take to the field because they give their absolute fucking all. So all I ask with the greatest of respect is don't put it in saying the fucking league's done it's dead if you're a Liverpool fan if you're a fan of other clubs do what you will and I can't help you either you sh you support a shit club no matter who it is uh, but Liverpool fans if you think the league's done it might not be for you or 
you just might be getting the wrong end of the stick because the hope is what it's fucking all about. The journey is what it's all about. It will taste sweeter, trust me, if you just trust in them. Do you know what the, the mad thing about that is, and you spot on, and I back everything that you, you just said, is all these platforms or social media platforms are, are full of people who don't know how to be sociable. So there's a massive difference in, the, in language and the way you perceive things. If you think you could word it and go, actually, I don't think we're going to win the league. You know, my, my personal opinion is I don't think we're going to win the league. I think we don't think we've done enough fair play to Manchester City. It's completely different to someone going, it's done. Stating things as fact when it's not fact will not get you a fucking conversation from anybody at all. If you go, league's done. I'm not going to engage that. Tell you what, Ross, I don't think Liverpool can going to win the league now. I think Man City got it. Okay, Chris, fair enough. Yeah. Let's have a conversation. We're both Liverpool fans. It's just fucking, with each other. It's just fucking yeah. belief as yeah. well, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, I don't go around telling people whether they believe in God or not that they don't. Like, you know what I mean? I don't go around but, telling people who believe in God when I don't that you shouldn't yeah. or vice versa, whatever way around it is. But yet... Yeah, like ah, oh, it's mad. It just it passes me head to be honest with Sorry, you. Sorry, I've got a, I've got a tweet here. Um, just something that we touched on before. Uh, it's from Evan Fanning, who is um, Joe and Telegraph Guardian, formerly of. Uh, it says the offside law means that Liverpool would have been better off if Allison had let that Watkins shot let let it in rather than save it. Any rule that rewards a keeper for letting a shot rather than saying it probably needs looked at, being looked at. Yeah, absolutely agree with that, 110%. Got a couple of super chats here as well. Uh, Jonathan Cook said, uh, I know Mane got man of the match, but Matt, it was quietly brilliant again. Yeah. I completely agree. Jay Court says, well said, Chris, never give up. Ian Locke, when do you think we'll get news on Fab? Tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was asked about it tonight. Yeah. Uh, he just won't know the answer, because that's what always happens. We need to speak to the medical department. We'll find out more tomorrow. Uh, DJ Phoenix, see Ross and Chris Road road to Wembley that is it we haven't limped into the FA Cup final we've got a big result against the big side in Aston Villa that's a historic side with a good manager and good players you know for God's sake they've got a 150 million pound player in this squad haven't Oy. they Oy. Um, but look Liverpool you know what? are there I like it's, it, from a, a, not a Liverpool perspective but the best outcome of that was Liverpool have a really tough game. They don't go into any game being being complacent. They're being challenged because every every game that we play now at the end of the season is a huge challenge. But for Steven Gerrard there as well, I think he's given his absolute everything. To all his players give absolute everything, and he's not ruining the league for us. Yeah, so he comes yeah, out with a night. You're still welcome here, Stevie, but yeah. you'll always be welcome. Uh, that has been the watch along. I've been Chris Page. That's been Ross Chandley. You've been a pleasure, apart from the ones who you know you haven't been. Um, thank you very much to everyone who's super chatted. Henny's the last one in. We're out of it at 3 0 down to AC Milan. Games done, guys. Analogy for the league. Imagine if we gave up then. You're absolutely spot on. Uh, Ross will be back very, very shortly with the fan reaction show. I'll be doing a play ratings. Then we'll be on Red Men Plus for the instant match reaction where we'll dive into some of the talking points. Uh, big shout out to the club legend as well, Danny M, Raymond D, Robo P2005, Ida <laughs> Quadbod, Zerkenix, and A Hart, who've been with us all evening as well. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you would like to check out RedmenPlus.com, our Liverpool streaming service and bonus content site that gives you more Redmen TV studio shows and documentaries, features and interviews, as well as a whole lot of podcast content as well. Head to RedmenPlus.com by clicking the button, uh, go and subscribe and yeah, fill your boots on amazing Liverpool content.